So, as explained, we are doing a special interview. We're going to be talking about our experiences. So well, the highlight has been the overwhelming response from everybody who we got in touch with earlier, um, started in about March, really, for this. And the response was so positive, whether it was VIP friends, uh, football clubs, stadiums, sponsors. It's just been an overwhelming experience. People probably know that we do a lot of work behind the scenes, but Godwin does a lot. So I'm more logistics about walk and about things coming out and doing things at the right time. Godwin has such an ability with getting in touch and that's why we've had so much support this year. But Godwin, talk to me, because you've done that since the Team Godwin days for your walks as well. What what drives you with that? Yeah, the thing is, uh, Rich, when, when I set up Team Godwin, um, the way I said it's a team, not just me, it's because uh, people have been supportive from day one. You know, um, celebrities have been supportive, uh, events, locations, they've all been supportive towards what we do. And, and that, that drives me forward because these people are all very busy people, right? Mm. So for them to find that bit of time to record video clips uh, and send a message out of encouragement, it means a lot because they're very busy. And I've seen that happening throughout the years. I mean, we started as Team Godo in 2020. And this year, amazingly, it's been the strongest year for um, getting support from the contacts. So that is an amazing thing um, to get all the support. You know, it makes me feel very, very, very proud of what we're doing and that we're spreading the word out of what the cause is ultimately, isn't it? Yeah. You know, so yeah, yeah that, that is something that drives me forward. So Godwin, I know that when we talked about the football part of it, that was something you felt had a lot of drive to it. So why why does that kind of animate you so much? And why do you, do you think that's helped with the responses that you've, you've received? Yes, of course, because we've always said during this campaign that football is more than just the game. It brings people together, communities. It makes it inclusive for everyone. It brings um, communities together. And we saw a little bit of that when we had visited Arsenal. Mm. We were standing outside and the different nationalities, mm. different people that were going inside the club was, was, was amazing. If you could pick out so far, what's the, been the biggest surprise? What would you say it's been? It's got to be none other than Boromir's Football Club. Now, this is a football club with such a big, big heart. Mm. And it was one of the clubs that was challenging to get in touch with the right person. And then when we actually managed to make contact and this beautiful, lovely lady, Mandy Morris, came on the scene, and then the organizing of our visit, the reception we got, the flags and the, the, the squad, the manager, everything, the tops, is, that was an overwhelming experience and I still can't get it out of my head. I go to work every day thinking about that welcome we had at Bournemouth Football Club, yeah. A question for you, mate. What? Do you think that autism can sometimes be misinterpreted by people or misread? I think it's a great question and I think that's the issue that I believe we have with with stereotyping and I think we do that with any anything that's probably different to what we kind of get an opinion of how something is and we kind of think that's how everything is and we hear things on the news that may not be strictly true but we just kind of pinpoint to the same people from the same community but I think the most important thing is and what we've got why we like to attach it to the football field is that autism is a spectrum so it obviously can come from any kind of part and be shown in any single way the same way that every single person at a football club goes to that football club on a Saturday but having a different life for that Monday to Friday and it's very easy to forget that sometimes that it can be misread but you can't just stereotype something like you just can't stereotype football fans you can't just stereotype people from different any differences or any different backgrounds so I think it, it, it can be and I think that's why it's been really refreshing that these clubs are helping support things like hidden disabilities like inclusion to help support drive that I know you're a charity champion and you do so much for the charity. Can you give us a bit more information about the charity and what, what they do and, and everything that they stand for? 
Yeah, it's I've I've been a charity champion now for I think just over a year. I think it's been about eighteen. Well, actually, about eighteen months. That's how time flies. Um, and obviously, getting invited to be that back in twenty twenty three, based on the work we've done together as well, and kind of promote it as an as an autistic person. But the beauty of the charity is about promoting positivity of autism. So things like Autism's Got Talent, where showcasing people who are on the autism spectrum about what they can do and celebrating the kind of, well, celebrating the Autism Hero Awards, pe autistic people or people who have supported autistic people to make a difference. That's what the charity is about. You know, they've got the things like the Century Room and fun days that they have at Watford that the charity is really kind of involved with. And it is just about expressing positivity in the community you hear some negative stories about autism and connotations and connections of of autistic people in negative lights and trolling and things like that but actually the beauty of this is it shines a light and the charity does shines a light on autism communities as being a positive thing so obviously everyone at anna kennedy but obviously starting with anna at the top we've had people like lisa who is obviously works close as uh, to Anna as the PA and we've got people such as Aston Avery and the Averys who support Anna's charity with the things like the skydive they've just done, Stephen Smith, um, Stacey Moore, we've got Joe Wiggins who's another charity champion you know as well yes, from the yes, days yes, we've spent yes. at Watford, yes. Tally Nothy, there's, there's not many of us but there's people, people like Kelly, uh, Ke Kelly from Born Anxious who her kind of kits are supportive of, uh, of Anna Kennedy online. There is such a small charity, but it's built from people who want to help. And that's exactly what you're doing. So you're part of this team as well. Yeah, and we love you, Anna Kennedy, and all the team.